Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to my video from me the Skyrender. And today I'm gonna show you how to EV train with power save and be more specific, specific EVs in power saving. As you guys know, there are superior options to power saving, being the save dongle, the PK hex with the homebrew system on the 3DS. Uh, if you by some fashion have not access to the homebrew system, which is uh, a lot of us actually, since um, you know if you don't have that option or anything like that. I myself don't have it, I don't use it, and uh, mostly because I don't necessarily need it. Uh, I found a way of working around it that has been working fine to this day, I guess you'd say. And this is probably a way that um, if you want to compensate for the patches that's coming for mon monthly from Nintendo, this is probably the safest or rather the most legitimate way to actually keep going with this process. Mind you guys, like I said, the genning process is a very, very better way than this is. But if you don't have that option, that this is the second best thing outside of EV training legitimacy, which is something that, for all sorts of purposes, is a very, very slow process and it takes a lot of your time. So, therefore, power save. So, the thing I'm going to show you here is a hair across I'm going to use in my next upcoming game in the TBU uh, against the LA Deluxe Ray. Um, he has a Beedrill, which I need to beat, um, and I need to beat it with my Heracross. So it's gonna be a Scarf Heracross that will beat his whole team, and um, the way to tackle that is by having 216 in EVs in speed and being of yellow in nature. And as you guys see, this is not... <laughs> this is not what we're going for. This is definitely completely wrong. He's ne he needs to be rearranged. His um, real sense and purposes kind of bad. So we need to take away all that special defense and put it in speed. And as you guys know, the issue with power saving today is actually that you can't be specific about the EVs. So, but there are ways to work around it, and I'm going to show you guys how that is going to be worked about. So, yeah, just going to save, and then we're going to go to, of course, the power save option. Uh, let's see, so home menu. We're gonna switch screens to this and we're going to shut that down for a while. And of course, we're going to. Oh, yeah, and of course, here across is a box one. Uh, it has to be box one, or we can't uh, specify its EV. So, if you are a power save player or power saver, you know exactly about this. And if you haven't uh, or don't know about this, then you know that's an option you need to do, obviously. <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna go through power save. Um, power save usually take a few uh, seconds to load up. It's nothing serious. Um, the update did slow it down a bit. Um, but what we're gonna do right now is we have the right uh, ability or nature. We are jolly already, but we need to get rid of those special defense and we need to put it at any speed. And like I said, we can't be specific. That's the worst part. We really just need to accept that we go in to be fully speed here. Uh, so no, zero special defense, I usually go all the way in case something weird turns up. Uh, attack 252, it's HP zero, it's right. This is what we're going for, this is the ideal set for this mod. So it's gonna be... It's gonna be wrong right now. I need uh, I need 36 um, H or in HP EVs, so that's something we can... That's the last part we're gonna do. It's to make him a bit more bulkier because I don't need more speed than 216. The rest is basically a waste. So, writing down the cartridge. Come on. This last process, or last part, usually takes more time than it needs to. So, right, gonna shut that down. We're gonna take out the cartridge. Put it in the 3DS and actually start the capture card process. Or the capture card program again. Let's see, there we go. And. Uh, there we go. Did not stretch at all there. Right, we're gonna set that off. We're gonna change the screen a little bit. This, like I said, this is not as good as Jenny or PK Hacks. It, it never will be. But this is um, this is a nice option if uh, you don't uh, have the option. Right. I'm gonna take out the hair across and I'll show you guys that it's right now. Bit wrong. Bit wrong. 
that's all right. Go to super training and you will see. All right, it's fully in those two areas. But like I said, we want to avoid that. And to do that, we're going to use a berry uh, that's called tomato berry. It's a berry reducing uh, EV berry. Uh, so it reduces the base speed, much like protein and stuff like that do, but on the opposite side, it actually reduces by 10 EVs. So we're going to use four of those. One, two, three, four. So now we are in 212. We need to be 216. That's where the other berries come, or other items come, like Swift's way. That gives it four of these. One, two, three, four. Now we have the right EVs to um, outspeed the Mega Beedrill when it's Mega Ball, which is important. And now we have 36 more EVs to spread out. And of course, that's going to use the items. So one, two, three, four. Now it has 36 EVs in HP. It's an uneven number, which means that it's going to not be well done by rocks as much. But that's not the point. The point is, of course, that now we have some of that bit more bulkier, and it's perfectly designed for the upcoming battle. So that's how I'll go about it. That's um, like I said, this process take roughly um, two to four minutes uh, for each month, which is, like I said, it's a bit slow. Uh, but the perk is that you can use this uh, game system that I'm using right now to you know, keep going about it. You can keep the update. And but the negative part is, and that obviously need to be reached out there, is that uh, you can't have specific moves through the system. It's just it's not possible. Um, you you still need to breeding, you still need to do all that part. I usually have a lot of, or I have all the mons, so it's a much easier process for me. Uh, if you want to have a new mon or a new egg move, you need to breed that. Uh, there is no way of working around it, sadly. And uh, obviously that sucks. That's really the limitation of power saving. But as long as EV training go and being more specific, this actually works. Like I said, it's a slower process, yes. But it does work, and uh, for me, that is really all I need. I can be making specific sets, and um, in the end, we we're talking about that the time difference between a minute at best, and uh, I, I got, I can have 15 minutes of spare time to design a team like this. There is no issue for me of doing so, and I think you guys will agree with me. It's, if the, the time constraint of 15 minutes is an issue, then Jenning is for you. But this definitely works. So yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this and I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, make sure to leave just that like. And if you want to see more videos or tutorials like this, uh, make sure to write that down below. I definitely, I like doing this stuff. I think it's uh, very suiting. <laughs> so anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching and make sure to, like I said, leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.